the treasure chest. Every week, Mrs. May took some of the children to the swimming pool. The children were good swimmers and they liked going with Mrs. May. The children were taking a swimming test. It's time to begin, said Mrs. May. Who wants to go first? We do, said Nadim. Biff, Chip, Wilma and Nadim jumped into the pool. The water was warm. Off you go, called Mrs. May. They had to swim up and down the pool. They had to swim ten lengths. Wilma was the first to swim ten lengths and Biff and Nadim were next. It was hard for Chip to swim the ten lengths. Come on, Chip, called Mrs. May. Don't stop. This is the last length. So Chip went on and everyone was pleased. Next, they had to swim to the bottom of the pool. They had to pick up a brick and swim with it to the top. All the children passed the swimming test. Mrs. May was very pleased. Well done, everyone, she said. The children were pleased, too. Biff and Chip told Mum and Dad about the swimming test. We passed, they said. Mum and Dad were very pleased as well. Mum and Dad had a surprise for them. Biff and Chip couldn't see what the surprise was. What is it? asked Biff. It's a fish tank, said Biff. What a lovely surprise. Everyone looked at the fish swimming about in the tank. There's room for more fish, said Dad. We can get some next time we go shopping. The next day they went shopping. Dad took them to a lovely shop that sold fish. What a lovely shop, said Biff. Look at all the fi fish. There were big fish and little fish. Kipper liked the big fish in a tank. Don't tap the glass, said Dad. The fish don't like it. Dad put some fish in the tank. He put rocks at the bottom. Next to the rocks, he put a little sh ship and a little box. Wilma and Nadim came to see the tank. It looks lovely, said Wilma. I wish I could swim in there. They went to play in Biff's room. Chip ran in with a magic key. The key was glowing. It's time for an adventure. The magic began to work. It took the children into a new adventure. This time, it was a different sort of adventure. The magic took them underwater. The children had masks and flippers and tanks of air. They could swim underwater. The children had never seen so many fish. They were all different colours. This is better than a pool, thought Chip. I feel like a fish, thought Wilma. The children loved swimming under the water. It was lovely to see all the fish and to swim with them, Chip and Nadim swam to the bottom and picked up a big shell. Biff looked at the jellyfish, but she didn't want to get too close. They saw a ship underwater. It was an old ship that had been underwater for a long time. They swam up to the ship. Wilma didn't want to swim too close to it. It looked dangerous. They saw an octopus. Oh no! It was sitting on the chest. They couldn't look inside the chest with an octopus sitting on the lid. They blew bubbles at the octopus. The octopus didn't like bubbles, so it swam away. Good, thought the children. Now we can look inside. The 
the children opened up the chest and looked inside. It was a treasure chest full of gold. Biff and Wilma pushed the chest over and all the gold fell out. Nadim picked up a necklace and Biff picked up a gold cup. Biff and Nadim were busy looking at the treasure. They didn't see what Chip and Wilma saw. A shark was coming. Chip and Wilma couldn't tell Biff and Nadim. They pulled them away and pointed them at the shark. The children were frightened. They swam and swam and swam, but the shark swam after them. The magic key began to glow. The magic key took them out of the adventure. Wow, what an adventure, said Biff. The treasure chest was like the one in our fish tank. The children ran to look in the fish tank. Look, there's treasure, said Chip. How did it get there? asked Nadim. It's magic, said Biff.